Hey there. Well, welcome to DIQ. Um, if, um, of course, I'm Kim McClure. I'm your National Sales Director. And my job is to help people, um, it's to help support your director um, with giving you tools and emotional support to um, help you get through DIQ. Not that you need help, but hopefully to make your journey faster, quicker, and better. And so I am available to you. All you need to do is reach out, call me, or text me, and I am here for you to um, just do this fun journey along the way. You know, DIQ is not a position on the career path. It's an entry point to directorship. And directorship I, is the most amazing position outside of being a national sales director. Directorship is fun, it's exhilarating, it's life-changing and life-impacting, both for you and for the women that you lead. And, um, and so DIQ is kind of a process for you where you get to understand a little bit more what directors do. You get to understand more of our, um, our culture, maybe. You get to understand more about yourself and what's inside you as well. And I hope that it opens up lots of dreams for you. You know, I kind of think of when you um, first go into DIQ, it's kind of a little bit like being pregnant, you know, at the first time. Like, we want a baby, right? But then we've got to go through this process of getting pregnant, kind of like getting into DIQ. Sometimes it can be painful and it can be longer than, way longer than you thought it was, right? Um, and you don't get to control it all. <laughs> the same thing is true of, you know, getting into DIQ and then birthing a new unit is like birthing a baby, you know. Um, there's going to be really exciting parts of DIQ and there's going to be parts of DIQ that you go, oh, I, I don't really like this part. You know, um, just like if you got pregnant, you don't really like being having morning sickness and you don't like swelling and you don't like not being able to sleep and you don't like, you know, having to pee 80,000 times a day um, and you don't like getting fat. <laughs> there's that stage of getting fat, you know, so there's a lot of things, but you go through it for the joy at the end. And that is the same thing about DIQ. It is a joy journey. And I hope that you will decide that you are going to enjoy the journey and you're going to trust the process. And so I think there's several things to having a successful DIQ. Number one is having clarity on why you want to be a director and what directorship is going to give you access to, okay? And number three, what's beyond directorship for you in Mary Kay, you know? Because it's important just like a, a consultant who comes in who has a debut, if she doesn't have another goal, like her perfect start of booking, you know, eight faces or eight parties to hold five or doing 15 faces in a two-week period of time, that's a, a perfect start. Um, if she doesn't have that next goal, she'll do her debut and stall, right? If she does her perfect start and she doesn't have another goal past that, she's going to stall. And so it is important that you always have another goal beyond the goal. OK, so that you keep moving forward. And so, you know, for me, when I was in DIQ, I wanted to become a director because it was a step towards replacing my income. And I wanted to replace my income so that when I had children, I didn't have to have them in daycare. OK, and then the dream beyond that was I needed a pink Cadillac because I needed that income to be able to replace my full time income. Um, and then allow us with some extra income. And then beyond that, it became to earn my husband a top director trip because he worked so hard. And ultimately, that was the biggest goal that kept me going was I knew that if so many women were successful in Applause Magazine, that I was willing to work hard and that I would be successful too. You know, that I was a winner and I gave it my guts and I always succeeded in whatever I set my mind to doing, you know, I was determined to become a director and, um, and, be, ter and be, ter be determined to become a great director, you know, to go and earn those trips and then to become a million dollar director and then to become a national sales director because I wanted the security 
that national sales directors received. And I also, after Mary Kay passed away, wanted the position of national sales director because I wanted to impact generations of women. And you are one of those women, for sure. So get clear on your why. If you're not clear on your why, call me, call your director, so that we can walk through a couple little things with you to help you maybe get more clarity on that because it makes a huge difference, okay? My second tip for being successful in DIQ is talking to your family and letting them know like, hey, mom's got a really big goal and I'm going to be maybe working a little bit more because I got to figure this out. I got to figure out how much, excuse me, how much time do I need to put into my business um, to become a director. And it's sort of like, you know, when you're studying for finals, your life goes out of balance, you know, or if you're studying for the CPA test you know, um, or your nursing boards or to take your MCATs or, you know, whatever. When you've got a really big goal ahead of you that has a time deadline, your life gets a little bit out of balance, you know, and you need to kind of figure out what works for you. As a sales director, you are going to need to be in front of groups of people, a minimum, I don't think any of you are minimum women, but a minimum of three times a week, minimum, okay? If you're wanting to drive a pink Cadillac, you are going to be needing to be in front of people um, 16 to 20 times a month. So that's four to five times a week, okay, with that. So just giving you an idea. Now, you know, you can do three appointments on a Saturday, easy. You can do six appointments if you double book your Saturdays, right? If you're using your weekly girls' night out as a guest event, as a guest event, or maybe bringing two hostesses at the same time to that, you know, you're getting two appointments in. So you can work smart and not hard to be able to make this happen. The minimum number of faces that you want to set yourself up for in DIQ and as a and as a director is 30. 30 is the minimum because when you're in front of 30 faces, then you are able to see enough people to share the business with at least 15 to 20 people every single month so that you can find those people to finish your unit. Okay. The ideal team when you finish the IQ, the ideal is you having two to three red jackets plus yourself right? If you have three women who become red jackets, right, they add nine people to the team and you get a gold medal and you're like practically done, you know? Um, and so that's the ideal way. However, every single DIQ needs to be committed to you doing enough work that you can do it all, okay? A lot of women who become sales directors, the majority of their unit starting out are their personal team members. Why is that? Well, you have a lot of influence with those women. And this is your baby, right? It's like you wouldn't expect your sister-in-law, if she was pregnant, to be and having a new baby to nurse your baby, right? No, this is your baby. It's your dream. You stand the most to win. And you stand, um, and so you have more skin in the game for this. Okay, so we're talking to everybody about becoming a red jacket. We're talking to them about building their team and sharing this fun business with other women. And you may even have like a special signing bonus or you may, um, for people who join your people's team, um, I'd suggest that you have a queen of sharing for the person who does the most sharing appointments maybe the queen of team building for the person who has added the most people to her team, and a queen of sales for the person who does the most wholesale while you're in DIQ. And you also may have a Miss Go Give for somebody who's really investing into everybody else's you know, business and supporting them while she's doing her own business as well. You'd wanna get those categories out to your people, explain what that is, and help paint that picture of where they could be um, and the prizes that they could earn, right? You don't have to spend a lot of money on prizes. Your prizes should never cost you more than three to five dollars. So you can oftentimes get things at the clearance section of um, Target or Kohl's. And then once you're a director, we'll share with you some of our other special sites 
that we have available to us for great prizes, okay? But it's a director's secret only. Okay, um, so that's just kind of a game plan. Gloria Mayfield Banks says, that when you are in DIQ and when you want to make a significant change in your business, she said, it's really simple. This is what you do. It's called going to a new zip code. Because when you do these five things, five things, five numbers make up a zip code, right? When you do these five things that you would be moving to a new zip code, you're moving to a new level in your Mary Kay business, okay? And the first thing, the very first thing is getting two bookings a day, two bookings a day, okay? Now, the second thing is getting five new names a day, okay, because those five new names a day are going to help you generate those two bookings a day. Five new names a day can come from referrals. Five new names a day can come from warm chatter. Five new names a day can come from a booth event, okay? Um, five new names a day can come from a secret sister program where you call customers and they can refer, you know, they can have like five women that are their secret sisters and that you pamper them um, with a, uh, a $10 gift card, right? Um, it could come from giving your customers um, skincare surveys and asking your customers to get um, 10 of those filled out that you need to survey 100 women fast and that you're going to be doing door prize drawings from those surveys. And for every survey that they turn out and that's filled in and returned back to you, she gets a dollar of free products, okay? So that's how you can get names fast because you need to be working with 50 to 100 names at all the time going forward, okay? Then you've got people to book, you've got people to play with, people to work with. Don't forget your previous hostesses of going back to them and booking them for a spa appointment or a hydrogel session or um, a quickie new year makeover or holiday makeover or spring makeover or summer makeover or fall makeover or girlfriend makeover, you know, whatever it is, come up with something fun and catchy because women like that. Okay, so two new bookings a day, five names a day. If you were to call Gloria Mayfield Banks and go, I'm struggling in DIQ, those are the first two questions she's going to ask you. Did you get your five names today? And if you didn't, go get them. And then did you get your two bookings today? If not, go get them. Because when you focus on those two things, everything else rolls together. Okay. The third thing that you do in the zip code is that you do three to five sharing appointments every week. Okay. Now, different than having them watch a video and texting them as a follow-up. That doesn't really count, you guys, because you can't really hear her heart and hear what's important to her. So this is what I suggest. If you don't sign somebody on the spot at your appointments, this is what I've done for 27 years, the Mary Kay way, and um, she's not ready to sign. Once I've sold her product, I've booked her for her second appointment, and then I say to her, you know what? I'm really working on this big goal of, of moving into a leadership management position with Mary Kay. It's going to totally change my family's life, and it's going to change the lives of the women who join my team. I know that this is really not something for you right now. However, to stay on track for it, I need to share with five women, just like proving my skills to the company. Um, share a little bit more information, answer any questions you have, and as a thank you because you're helping me, you can pick any item that you want at half off. Is there any reason why you couldn't be one of my five this week? Is there any reason why? Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, I got a phone call in the middle of that. Um, and so that's what I did, you know, or I would say, you know, you, you heard me talk about my dream of becoming a director. Well, to stay on track for that, I need to connect with five women this week and just give them a little bit more information um, and answer any questions they have. I know it's probably not something for you at all, but you could be my talent scout and you'd help me stay on track for my promotion because I need to do five of these each week. And you get a gift, you can take anything you want at half off as a thank you for helping me. So is there any reason why you wouldn't help me with my challenge, you know? I'd love to get to know you better. And so what I do with those women is we set the date and time to talk, ideally within 48 hours of them trying product, 
okay, because they're most excited about it, their skin feels great, um, you know, and it's short that if they're going to be talking to other people, they're not going to be getting maybe some negative pushback, like, oh, I know somebody who did Mary Kay and she didn't really do it, you know, um, or I know somebody else who sells Mary Kay, you should maybe sign through her, right? Because people are just wanting to help their friends. Um, and so uh, what we do is we set up that time and then I say to her, hey, I'm going to shoot you a quick little video. It will just make, it'll make our time even shorter when we talk and it might help you think of a few more questions you might want to ask me. If you don't get a chance to watch the video before we talk, that's okay. No big deal. But if you can, it just might be, you know, just might make our time a little bit shorter. And then I'm sending her off the video. I'm reminding her the next day of our appointment time. I'm texting her the day of the appointment going, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You know, I'm needing just one more to, to hit my five for the week and you are it. So I'm looking forward to connecting with you. You know, if for any reason it's not good, text me back right away. Okay. Um, and so that's another key to my success. Okay. So two bookings a day, five new names a day sharing with three to five women every week about the Mary Kay business opportunity for you personally, and that what your people do is icing on the cake. The fourth thing is working to sell $100 a day in sales. That can be from doing your parties. It can be from doing reorders. It can be from um, doing outside like a virtual uh, party or having a silent hostess where you give her, you know, a lookbook loaded up with samples and she goes and she takes orders and maybe for every hundred dollars of orders, she gets $25 of products for free and you get those people's names and numbers, but you've got more product coming in for you. Okay. Or maybe you give her a basket of products that you both agree, everything that's in there, you label all the prices with a book. She takes it into work and she sells product for you. Okay. That might be another way. Or maybe she wants the hydrogel eye patches um, and she doesn't want to pay full price. So maybe if she sells three of those for you, she gets hers at half off. If she sells five for you, she gets hers for free. Okay. So think about ways that you can be just moving lots of product to help support your wholesale goal. And then the last thing of the zip code is one weekly accomplishment sheet. If you don't do weekly accomplishment sheets, you've got to start now because you need to get a handle on those basic things of your business because there's gonna be more things that you'll be tracking as a sales director. And so it's vital that you get your house in order for taxes um, and that you make sure that you're doing your weekly accomplishment sheet. And it also keeps you um, like honest, like you can say, oh, I've I, I did a lot for my Mary Kay business, you know, this week. And you really look at it on paper and you thought a lot about Mary Kay, but you didn't really produce anything, you know? And so it's really important that we are making action happen. We cannot control what other people do. We cannot control, you know, whether they say yes or no. Here's what we can control. We can control the number of people that we connect with every single day. Okay. Um, we can also control our excitement, our energy, our enthusiasm, our like, oh my gosh, you've got to try these products, you know, or oh my gosh, I'm working on this really big goal and it means the world to my family. It's going to allow me to be able to retire my husband someday. It's going to allow me to put my kids through private education. It's going to allow us to save for the the wedding of our dreams, or it's going to help make a down payment for our house or make a house payment for us. And I'm really committed to this. And so to stay on track, I need to pamper um, 30 women and get their opinion of our business this month. Is there any reason why you couldn't be one of my 30 women? Or you say, I need to pamper 15 women in the next two weeks. Is there any reason why you couldn't be one of my 15 women? So you've got to tell them what you're working on, why you're working on it, how they can help you, and what's in it for them, okay? So what are you working on? Why are you working on it? Um, how they can help you, and what's in it for them, okay? That's the four elements of a solid booking script with people. And when you're excited and you're juiced about it, people are curious because they don't get exciting, fun people to be around, you know? Um, and if you're like not normally a really excited kind of person, then you want to run up and down the steps or do 10 jumping jacks and get your blood flowing and pumping and, 
get your like a little bit more breathless excitement for you. Okay. Um, and so those are my tips for getting yourself set up and in, in a solid mode for DIQ. Okay. There's times throughout our Mary Kay um, year that booking requires us asking more people. Booking is nothing more than asking. Okay. So you have to ask more people around the holidays. You have to ask more people um, in the summer because people are on vacation. You have to ask more people at the end of a school year and you have to end more, ask more people at the beginning of a school year because you're dealing with moms who are getting kids in and school and out of school and finishing school year and pageants and, and concerts and all of those kind of things. So in those high volume times where you're having to ask more, it will pay you to do what we call up 10, down 10, looking for women who are maybe 10 years older than the women that you're in those circles with or 10 years younger, because they're not going to maybe have school age children. Maybe they're single. Maybe they have babies, you know, um, maybe they're really, you know, in their, in their corporate careers and they need the, they need your help as a professional consultant to help busy women look their best in their least amount of time, okay? So the zip code, right? Two bookings a day, five new names a day, three to five sharing appointments a week, $100 in sales, and one weekly accomplishment sheet. I promise you, if you will do that five to six days a week, you're going to fly, fly through DIQ, and you're going to be building a super solid, strong base, because I want you to think this is your foundation of your house and what you're building your future and your career upon, okay? Um, it doesn't always look pretty, you know, but you want to be thinking of building solid long-term for the future as well. All right, you guys, signing off, this is Kim McClure, your National Sales Director. Can't wait for you to be one of our directors. Bye-bye.